be showing uh, a multiplayer mode, which is Rescue, and a uh, Chasm map, which is a map uh, that's, that focuses on uh, verticality and a lot of movement on the vertical and using a Sandstorm as a game changer to, to transform the state of the game. Rescue mode is about uh, survivors getting med, med, med kit. Uh, they want to bring it to a special location. While if you're playing a scavenger, you try to stop them. So the objective is asymmetrical. They don't have. They don't share the same same uh, objective. The uh, survivors they try to work together to bring uh, the med cat, the med, the med pack at the right location. While the the scavenger they don't have to work together. They can spread and they hit and run to grief as much as possible the survivors. So basically, you have to uh, uh, bring five med pack to be able to win, or you have to kill twenty per uh, and execute twenty. 27 survivors to be able to win. The weapons are basically the same as a single player. We have the machine gun, we have uh, the shotgun, we have the pistol and the bow. It's basically the same weapons, but the more you find salvage, the more you you know you play very good, you can actually upgrade these weapons and uh, customize the way you wanted them to be. There is five maps. Uh, we because they are unique. They're not rehash from the single player, and uh, they are very, uh, they are uh, encouraging a lot of asymmetrical. So it was very challenging to do. So five maps in total. I feel that uh, Tomb Raider needed multiplayer because I think it's a complement. It's a complement of the single player. A lot of people, when they finish a single player game, like I'm due, I, I love this universe. The universe is rich, because you know a single player. There's a beginning, and there's an end. And when you, you know, when you're into it and you're passionate about it, and you finish the game, you're like, okay, is there any DLC? I want to see. Can I continue the game? But no, there's nothing. No. And then I talk with my friends. I'm like, oh, uh, you see, that's how I did it and did it. And my friends like. And I didn't do it this way, I did it this way. And, uh, and one of the things we really thought about is like, hey, how can we make this rich universe as persistent as possible? How can we do that? People like you and me having a blast, you know, playing separately. And then suddenly we say, hey, let's, let's do it. Let's play together. Let's kick the ass of these scavengers. Let's do that. Multiplayer, um, the multiplayer was taught from, from uh, not necessarily at day one, but very, very close to uh, from the being of a single player. Uh, when I came in two years ago, uh, they already had a plan, they already have some ideas about how to explore a multiplayer. Yeah, Lara, Lara will be a special character. Uh, like, uh, I. Lara will be a special character because what we wanted to do with Lara Croft, we wanted to make her special. So anybody who will, will be unlocking her, will, you know, he knows that he will be like the, t the center of the attention. So we wanted uh, him to be like you have to be maximum. You have to get you reach the maximum level, which is sixty. You have to you know you have to um, spend a lot of money to buy her. So when you get into a game, other other players will be like, oh my god, this is Lara Croft. This guy or this girl, we need to take her down now. So that was, uh, I think, is you know, it's putting you in the spotlight and giving you that special aura. And I think there's, um, there's, a, there's a lot of attraction of doing that. Tomb Raider will be out on PC, three, uh, play, uh, PlayStation 3, uh, Xbox 360 on the 5th March 2013. Tombs.